Welcome to Flat Cap Whiskey, where today we're going to be tasting Lafroy 10 cast strength and to see if it can stand up to Lafroy 10 original. Brandon, give us some highlights of Lafroy 10. Well, we are reviewing Lafroy 10 cast strength. Batch number 12. It is the February 2020 edition. So last year, right before COVID. And what's the proof? It is 60.1 alcohol volume. 120 proof. 120.2. 120.2 proof. It's a lot of alcohol. It is matured in oak casks. Uh, do, 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 do. Is it non-chill filtered? It is non-chill filtered. Non-chill filtered. Unlike the first. The Lefroy original. 10 is Lefroy 10 original is chill filtered. Uh, it says to add twice as amount of water to whiskey. Yeah, I noticed that on the label. I think that's something I never heard of before, adding twice the amount of water as compared to whiskey. So this is one ounce of whiskey we have in the, in the Glen ounce. Karens. So that would be two ounces of water. I'm not sure if I'm ready to do that. But what does it say? What does it do? Uh, where is it? We recommend that you add twice as much water as whiskey to fully appreciate the taste and characteristics of the original cast strength Lafroyc. Whiskey at cast strength may overpower the palate, but adding water will release a rich aroma of peat smoke with some sweetness and strong hints of sea. Right, and one of the things that we've always done is add a little bit of water over time, right? Yes. I mean, that's one of the things that Ralphie was always big about is add a little bit of water at a time. Reading this on the back of the canister, kind of a shock. I didn't really... I, the bottle for me is rather pricey. I don't so know if I would want to water it down that much. It's $100, isn't it? It's 100 bucks. Maybe they want you to water it down so it's, you spread it out longer. Possible. Spread it out a little longer, but we're going to... I want to dive right in. I want to taste the Lefroy 10 cast strength. At full strength. At full strength first and see what our initial reaction to it is. And remember, we're both peat heads. We love peated scotch, right? So I have my Scotch Test Dummies coin. Shout out to Scotch Test Dummies. I think they do a great job. Mm -hmm. Oh, we got a dog. And we have a dog. And he's barking at everything he sees outside. Yeah, this is this is just awesome. As soon as I smell it, I feel like I feel like I'm home. It's very smoky, Petey. Smoke. Actually, it's not as smoky as I would think it would be, but definitely peat, definitely oak. Maybe you're all right. The bottle says you should taste vanillins. I never really taste vanillins except when I do bourbon. I don't taste vanillas, but I usually smell it. Like right now, I'm getting spinella. It's kind of smells like a Disney hotel. A Disney hotel? A Disney hotel, Grand Fluminum as you walk in, maybe. Hmm. Thinking like, like suntan oil? No. I don't know, it just, reminds, it just reminds me of walking in the Grand Floridian. Definitely, bri you know, you get that briny, salty scent, you know, definitely, definitely has the same character as the Freud 10 original. Unless it's vanilla I'm getting. I'm just mixing them up. Full strength going on in. Definitely prickly, right? You can really taste the, the oakiness when, it, oh, when you swallow. That hit me. The alcohol hit me. Small timer over here. Can't handle the alcohol content. 60.1% AP ABV. I say it's a lot. It's 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 more salty. I can taste the salt on the aftertaste more than when it's on my tongue initially. I can really taste. That I was now. tasting it on my tongue. Right, it stays with you. It's a very oily scotch. It's prickly. I almost want to say it's, I mean, it's a little dry. Yeah. But it's a long finish. Dry. 
very long finish. I, I, this is just a great glass of scotch. I would prefer a higher alcohol content as you find in the Lafroy 10 cast strength. Or any cast strength, the Springbank 10 cast strength, same thing. That higher alcohol content really, I think, brings out a bit more of the flavor. You know, mm. Some people kind of numbs the palate and the senses, but it doesn't bother me. Maybe butterscotch or like a brown sugar. Maybe brown sugar. I had a brown sugar uh, Americano from uh, Starbucks today. Oh. Starbucks paying for that ad right now? I don't know. No, they're not, not sponsored by Starbucks. We're not sponsored by anybody. No. But if you want to sponsor us, start by subscribing and thumbs up on the video. And be sure to like the video. Be sure yeah. to like the video. Thumbs up. Smash that like button. Smash it. Yeah, it's. Yeah, the alcohol really hits you. I'm gonna add a little bit of water. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do two teaspoons. All right, I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit. I want to taste bitter. Ooh. I think it's time for you to add water, son. So you clanked it that time. I did clank it. That's a clanker. It's a clinker. It's a clanker. Clinker or a clanker? It's a clanker. Oh yeah, that brought it down wick a lot. Already? Yeah. It's not hitting me in the face. I think some of the... It mellows it out dramatically, I think. Yeah, the aroma, I feel, I feel like a lot of the peat smell has dissipated. Maybe a little more oak comes to the front. Oak. I think the vanilla is still the same. What other... Let me see, we'll eat this real quick. He says it's not chill filter, didn't we? Mm-hmm. Wow. That saltiness really hits sort you. There's a slight sweet vanilla nuttiness. Do you get nuttiness? You know what? I, I, before we came over here, I showed you that I've got the yeah. bottled in bond Haven Hill seven year old, 50%. That I, bourbons have a very nuttiness aroma. Yeah. Right? Good nose. Which I love the smell of the nuttiness. That's why the best part of bourbon, I think, is that nuttiness. This, when I smelled this before we came over, I, you're right. There was a little bit of a nuttiness, but it was, it's different than the bourbon. It's just, I don't I couldn't place the nut, so that's what she said. What did I, oh, maybe it was coffee. It was a coffee that I got that you, I never smelled nuttiness. In a, it smelled like peanut butter. Mm -hmm. But I never really... It's an almond. An oh. almond. No, it's not. Oh, it is good though. Well, let's think I, about this. Let's ask this. Let's ask the question. Lefroy Ten cast strength, right? From Lefroy Distillery, sixty point one percent. How do you think this compares to the Lefroy original? He's in a place. I think it did get a nightness in the palate. What kind of nut? I have no idea. Cashew? It's the best nut. Walnut? Cashew is the best nut. I have no idea. It's like a big peanut. It's like a big peanut. More expensive peanut. I get a lot of bourbon notes. It kind of tastes like a bourbon. Yeah. Not a, bourbon. Yeah, I get like bourbon notes. Like, no, this is not bourbon. No bourbon notes, I, I, except maybe a little bit of a nuttiness. But well, I got, I just got the rubber, like the tar, salt, brine. I never get medicinal. Oh, hello. So, what are your thoughts? It's good. Versus Lefroy 10, what's your comparison? How do you, what do you think of the two of them? 
How they differ, do you think? This is the, I think, ooh, grass. Getting that now. Um, okay. I think I need, I think we need to pull out the Lefroy, regular Lefroy 10 to really do a real comparison. Uh, it's good. I think it's a little too much now compared to when I first had it. What's too much? Lefroy. We're back. Again. What was I saying? I don't remember. Oh. I think it said it's too much. As in, like, I think it's just. Even with the water, maybe I need to add more water. But I feel like it's. it's, it's even with the, the amount of drops we put in, put in there, I did think it. Uh, it's still too overpowering. I don't think it's overpowering at all if you're added the te two teaspoons. I found that the saltiness, the brininess came out more. Ooh, that's better. How many teaspoons you got in there now? I have two. That's two like have. two like full spoons. That's what I have. Two. No scotch mist yet. It's hard to tell with such poor lighting. You need to do something about that lighting. Yeah, no. Yeah, it's good. I'm gonna do two more. So my take on this is that I don't think there's much difference between the Lefroy 10 original and the cast strain. The flavors are the same. I believe the alcohol content may enhance some of the flavors. I think it, uh, especially when you add water, it does become more briny, more salty, yeah. more oaky without the water. So without the water, it's more oaky than the Lefroy 10 original. When you add the water, the oakiness, I think, is muted. The brine, the salt comes out significantly. I'm, I like the higher alcohol content. So I would lean towards Lefroy 10 cash strength. If you were to spend the money, you had a choice of Lefroy 10 and Lefroy 10 cash strength, right? And you could spend the money to go to the $100 party price point for the cash strength. I would go with the cash strength. That's $40 to what, 80 90 how much is that? It's hundred dollars, I think. This is a ninety-nine dollars plus tax, so it's slightly over a hundred, right? The Lefroy Ten original is about what sixty bucks. I think it's like fifty. The tax, I think. Uh, I think I, I think it's between fifty and sixty, somewhere on there. Somewhere on there. Which is a really great price point. I don't mind spending fifty bucks on a bottle of scotch, especially when it's got the Lefroy name on it. I like it. I know you you can you can drag it out a little longer because you can keep adding water, so you can do smaller drams. Um, it's true. I always add a little bit of water. I, I've been adding a lot of water to most of my whiskeys. I think I liked it better at full strength than adding water. I think after I added water, it just intensified everything. Hmm. I don't think I don't see why that would happen, but yeah. if yeah. I. You couldn't, uh, I feel like if I drank that. Give me your mall mark. I think it's even. Ralphie, like, a shout out to you for mall marks. I think it's roughly the same as the normal Lefroy. I got to say 90. 90? Yeah. I have to agree. I'm going to say that Lefroy 10 cast strength, I would keep it in the same ballpark around 90. Um, no more than 92 for me. 90 92, yeah. And if this was a hockey team, if this was if Lefroy Ten Cash Strength was a hockey team, what? Where do, where do I go with it? The where Red do I Wings. go? Who's at the top of the heap this year in the, in the divisions? I'm gonna have to say the number one team in all of hockey right now, Tampa Bay Lightning. This is the Tampa Bay Lightning. See, so I think you used Tampa Bay Lightning. For, no, I haven't uh, used Tampa first, Bay Lightning. No. I think you have. No, I didn't. I think you have. No, the first, the first one was Talisker Storm, and I said that they were. The Detroit with Red Wings. And what was the second one? The second one Maple I said Leafs. was the Toronto Maple Leafs. Maple Leafs, okay, fair enough. Third one was like, the, did I say Capitals? No, you said the Toronto Maple Leafs. The Toronto Maple Leafs. I, I tried. We're only on this is number three. No, this is this is four. I'm already losing count. This is four. See, we're we're becoming expert at this. We're losing count. We've done so many. I know. All right, what's your what's your comparison? How would you rate this in a video game? Computer game. Last time it was half I didn't even think about that. 
Well, you gotta think about it. I know, but I didn't think of it ahead of time. Nice analogy. See, Half Life's classic perfect gram. I didn't say this is a perfect gram. I noticed. So I think it's because it, I think it takes expertise. A little expertise. I would say it's more of a, a strategy game. You gotta go at it. You gotta attack it. I'll probably say maybe uh, Starcraft. Starcraft. You gotta plan how much water you're gonna add. You when you're gonna ahead. add it. It's how long you're gonna strategic. wait. Strategic. It can. It's you know. Easy to learn, hard to master type of thing. So next time, next episode of Flat Cap Whiskey, question is, will we go head to head? Lefroy 10, Lefroy 10 cast strength? Or will we bring up a new scotch we haven't tried before? We'll have to think about that. Maybe blind it. Any suggestions, put it in the comments below. We'll check them out and we'll see what we can do. Tell us what you like. Don't tell us what you don't like, because that's always me. Remember, subscribe, thumbs up. Salanja. Yeah, rubber, tar. <laughs> what? <laughs> Salt and really crushed me. And I can't take it. <laughs>